I think it's important to think who's asking the question. Um, the most important person is the patient. So what do patients want in their doctors? Patients want doctors who will listen to them. And so good communication skills are really important for anyone who wants to be a good doctor. A good doctor has good scientific knowledge, uh, good practical skills and good communication skills and excellent awareness of what professionalism means. I think the thing that all good doctors have in common is that they are caring people, but they're caring in a particular way, that they're caring in a way that in the end means that you're trying to figure out what's wrong and trying to figure out sensible ways of putting that right. They can select for these attributes at interview usually. They may get an indication of your attributes through your personal statement. Uh, there is a document on the Medical Schools Council's website called Core Values and Attributes, which will list these attributes and help you learn to reflect on what you have and how you can demonstrate them. Most medical schools do a multiple mini interview, so they will have a number of different stations um, involved in the interview process so they can look at different attributes um, and assess them in different ways. I think if you're thinking about interview, then it's really important to practice and to um, develop those skills of talking to, to people. And that can come through um, work experience or having a job or taking on responsibilities at school. It's through reflection on your work experience and the experiences you have throughout your own life with your peer group, with your friends and colleagues. The best thing to really say is you just got to put on show what you've got. Uh, show us how fantastic a person you are, what sort of things you can do. Uh, don't be shy. Don't hide your attributes under a bushel. Don't be boastful. Just show us you're a fantastic person and we'll take it from there. <laughs>